what is going on crazy goose fam back again so um we all saw the last video got some paint going on on the grill painted the bumper up um use the same technique as i did with the front grill laid down my layers threw coffee grind at it and um gave it that rusted out patina look played around a bit with some um was a rust effect paint uh, gives it a kind of rough sort of feeling and it's not so red it's brown like rust um yeah is what it is um so what are we doing today we're taking a break from a bit of fab work we're doing a bit of maintenance so i've noticed as of late there's been a few oil drips under it um and they're slowly getting larger and larger which means that it's leaking more and more and uh that ain't good so i've um i've tracked it down to the back of the rocker cover so thank god it's not a not a serious one but yeah we're gonna fix it up today yeah i'll show you where it is yeah, this lighting's not gonna get it but basically clean finger oily finger it's coming from that back corner so so I'm gonna clean it, fix it up. Roll the intro. Welcome back. You are now watching the Australian from New Zealand that thinks he's an America YouTube channel of I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway with half-ass welds and spray can dreams. YouTube certified mechanic, you're watching Crazy Goose Garage. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. So first of all, I need to remove all of this so I can get to the rocker cover nice and clear. So, uh, yeah, let's take it all off. Ah, oh, sun's out today, it's nice. It's like 24, 25 degrees. Seems to be the sun's last hoorah before Autumn starts kicking in and in winter and then it's cold and miserable. So this is Easter weekend. I don't know when I'm gonna put this video out, but uh it's Easter weekend, so nice long week. End short week. Beautiful. This one part on cable. Truck's been running, man. I've been driving it quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's just been running so nice. Sorted out my running rich on cold start issue, so it no longer blows carbon all over the driveway. Just had a had a brainstorm, a thought that um, just occurred to me one night, and I thought, well, I wonder if this cheap. Chinese regulator, fuel pressure regulator, could be part of the reason. Like I dialed it down to 25 PSI and they should be running like 32 and it was still running rich even though the PSI was low. Um, so I thought I wonder if that's running reading incorrectly. So I got out here, cold started it, wound it down until the idle smoothed out, didn't sound like a rotary and it stopped blowing carbon out the back and i dialed a little bit more into it just to make sure it's still running with petrol and uh runs mint so hint of the day don't buy cheap chinese crap but i can't afford another one so i'm going to keep running it. it is what it is I went to the hardware store, bought myself some new hardware. I think the hardware I was using could be part of the reason why it's leaking, because some of the bolts are too long. Um, I forgot what size they are. So hopefully I got the right ones. Hoping they're M6s. I think they are. Could be in luck there. I 
the battery's going flat. Yeah, it's definitely going flat. That's good. Actually, I think I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to um, degrease it a bit. Yeah. Also, don't buy cheap, high pressure hoses off, uh, where is it, where did I get it from, AliExpress. They claim to be as good as a pressure washer. They're not. The only good thing about this is you can chuck soap in it. That's kind of cool. But yeah, $7 off AliExpress. I mean, it works. It's a hose connection. You can put soap in it. You can wash your car with it, but it's no high pressure washer. down on the gearbox a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. Ah. Get back to taking the rocket cover off. Go up. I'm going to finish taking this off and then um, do my usual come back when it's done. I'm undoing bolts. That's not fun. Alright, so I got the rocket cover off. Um, that took longer than I would like to admit. One of the bolts rounded out. I had the angle grinder at it, make it a flathead because I put uh, Allen key bolts in there, you know, make it look nice. And uh, yeah, that backfired, but um, I got it out. Can't be stuck if the head ain't there. But um, let's have a look at this. So I put 2000 Ks on this since uh, rebuilding it. It all seems to be good. Chain's nice and tight. Pretty sure that's normal. No weird metal filings anywhere. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna clean it all up clean up the inside of this here's my garage at the moment there's more stuff in there than there should be uh, I just had my floors redone in my house so can't um can't really live in the house with heavy stuff so the entire house is in the garage but yeah so I'm gonna clean it up but um don't know if I'm in shot could be in shot as a special little treat and traditional style of this channel when we put things back we put it back better so this isn't me just fixing an oil leak this is me doing something a little bit different yeah so I'm just gonna go clean everything up pressure wash it degrease it degrease the surfaces make sure it's all nice and dry and then I'll proceed all right so I got that the inside of it all cleaned up that's all good gasket's still good it's still soft and flexy so Gonna reuse that. Now, what are the special things I'm doing? It's not really that special. Just putting a couple of fittings in, um, just for the oil breathers. So it's not a a barb as such. So one's gonna go there, and one's gonna go there. Maybe they wanna go there, and they wanna go in there. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I don't have two 90 degree ones, which I did because then that would work a lot better but uh yeah we'll figure it out what does that mean i need to do well, i need to cut that off and widen it up a little bit so it'll accept the fitting then i'm um, gonna carry on with the more special special things a bit like me to buy a new angle grinder because um i was using the other one yesterday and it blew up thankfully not in a catastrophic event hence why i'm still here and able to talk to you i was using it I heard a pop and then it sent itself to the moon. It went from 30,000 RPM to 4,765,000 and more. And um, yeah, luckily it didn't blow up and like shred my face apart. But yeah, so I'm still here. And 
still completely unsafe because who needs a guard or a handle? I do need a bigger disc though because mm. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. Literally won't cut it. Right. New disc. I don't fit, so I have to drill it out. Move back. Now don't be worried, I'm not about to cut up any expensive AM lines. These came with my cheap fuel regulator. So it doesn't really matter. What I am going to do is grind off some of these edges. And that'll work perfect. So yeah, I'm going to grind them off. Then I'll bring it back. Alright, so I've got that hole done. Through there. Ground down the, the fitting for it so it actually fits. Made an absolute mess of that. That's great, but it fits. Yeah. I'm gonna take off 12 valve because I don't want anyone knowing that I'm running just a basic 12 valve in here. I want them to open the bonnet and go, Woo! Dang, what's that? Like a V8? No, it's a straight four. I don't know, stalker shit. What else are we gonna do? Get the old flap attack should make absolute mincemeat of this and i'll probably stuff it up It's gonna take a while. That's a, it's been a while to get that E off. So, time lapse it. Time lapse it. So, here we have it. She ain't no 12 valve no more. Now, I've made an absolute mess of bronze on this so um what better to do than paint it a different color put it back better there so let's move the mobile spray booth out into the sun where it's perfect conditions to lay down a pristine paint job and um, we're not going to prep it we'll just clean it give it a scuff because that's going to last a long time all right, so here it is in the uh, perfectly clean spray booth out here. Um, expertly prepped with some 240 grit. That's perfect. Um, yeah, literally just gave it a scuff. Do I care? No, I do not. Is this primer going to react? More than likely. Again. Do I care? Absolutely not.
should I be using high temp paint? More than likely. Now let me tell you, I've painted many of valve covers not with high temp paint and it's been perfectly fine. I have never had an issue apart from the smell. And the smell goes away or you get used to it. Anyway, that's a perfect coat. I'm gonna leave it to bake in, in the oven for a little while and then I'm put down the top coat. Oh yeah, one coat of primer, that's it. Don't waste paint. Okay, so that's dried for approximately 5.63 minutes and um, it's dry. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is it's dry. The sun is baking it. It's dry. It's hot. So now, top coat. Top coat, I'm going this colour, which I will reveal once it's back in the truck and then I'll tell you why I've gone with this colour. Anyway, Let's get spraying. This one I am going to do a couple coats. So a light coat for the start. Just to get it on there. And again we'll let it dry for approximately 6 minutes. 0.45 seconds. This is a slightly more high quality paint that I'm going with here. Oh, that was too thick. That's perfect. A um, bit more higher quality than my usual $5 tin of paint. This was $25. That's cool, the wind's blowing it out of my way. So I'm going to thick on a few places, but that's okay. So yeah. First coat's done. We'll let that dry and set, then we'll come back. Do another. You ready for this? You ready? Boom. There's the color. So yeah, a bit different than the bronze. I know everything else is bronze in there still, but um, yeah, I'll fix that up. Give me some time. Big things coming. Big things coming. Anyhow, let me flip the camera around and um, we'll talk a few things through. Alright, so let's have a little chat. Um, why am I building the truck? Why did I go with that colour on the rocket cover? Um, and what the truck means to me? Well, apart from actually like really loving cars and being brought up around cars, my dad was always mechanicing, playing around with cars. Some of the cars he had when he was a kid just crazy like taking a Vauxhall van cutting the front off of it and sticking a uh, 202 out of a Holden Commodore in it and then welding a nose cone to it because obviously the motor stuck out through the front of the car he's had many many minis many utes trucks he was a contractor mowing contractor so he always had trucks and uh, which leads me to that color so I remember my dad bought an old milk truck cut the top off it welded in the, the walls, and then proceeded to paint it white in that color, with a roller. He used house paint on this truck. And um, yeah, I remember just seeing him out there one day, just painting it. And um, yeah, so my brothers are all into cars. I've just been around cars all my life. So this man right here, my dad, we never got to build a car together. We built a, a little motorbike when I was young. We built a Yamaha PW50. We built that together. And um, yeah, this is, I suppose this is a, a truck dedicated to him that when I feel like it's safe enough to, the kids come out and work on it with me. I don't want them around when I'm doing the welding and the grinding. They're just a little too young to be around that so far. Um, eventually, build them a truck so yeah so I'm building this with them because I never got to build a truck with my dad um, 
why did I pick the Courier? Well, first of all, I picked the Courier because it was cheap. I bought it sight unseen. I bought it for a work truck. But then my dad passed away a year ago and I went back to New Zealand to do what you do when someone passes away. And I was cleaning out his stuff and I found some photos. And uh, this was one of the photos. So again, another hand-painted, two-toned truck. And um, that's me on the back of it. Now, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but right in the bottom corner there, she's a courier. It's a courier. So when I read, when I found that photo, it, um, it had more meaning to me building this truck. Now, here's another one. So that was my mum's Celica, the courier in the background. Now, on the front of that courier, there's a little rubber duck. Just one duck. So, for as long as I can remember, my dad's nickname was One Duck. Now, my last name is Turgoose, so his boss used to call him Turgoose One Duck. So One Duck was his nickname. Now Squeaky here. Give me a sec. The Squeaky was named Squeaky because, well, she squeaks. But. getting new plates. One duck. And of course, and the rusty. Had to get rusty ones. So yeah, so that's why I'm building this truck, because I love trucks. I love cars. My kids are helping me, but being a courier, it just has a bit more meaning. And um, this this just means that my dad can ride with me in the truck we never got to build. But I know, <coughs> but I know he's building it with me. He's calling me stupid. He's asking me if that's a really good idea. But I know that if he was alive and kicking today, He'd be right under that truck with me, building it with me, learning, teaching, enjoying, just doing what dads and kids are meant to do. So yeah, sorry for the, uh, for the sentimental shit, but that's why I'm building it. And um, we ain't done that. Peace. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. All the normal YouTube stuff. And remember, procrastinating is time you're wasting.